Tommy Hansen ready to go to work his third major league start. Remember he was three and three with a 149 ERA at Gwinnett. Getting on base. Jeter with nine homers 30 driven in hits a two hopper right to Chipper Jones. And a great start. Line into center field well hit but right at Nate McLeod. And a liner into left field right at Garrett Anderson just what Tommy Hansen wanted 26 plus innings 50 hits allowed 36 earned runs 14 walks a 410 average against him he's allowed six homers little tap hit toward Cano at second McLeod down the line got him by a quarter step and 36 runs battered in Another ground ball, this time to Aaron, who waits and fires, and Teixeira, so nimble around the bag, goes inside the foul line. And another ground ball, this time to Mark Teixeira. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the duel is on. Hanson and Wong, very easy first innings. The Yankees lost two games to Florida. Fly ball to right, and Jeff Francoeur gathers that in. That hit him a slider and Cano the first Yankee base runner hit by a pitch again the runner goes there's the strikeout and the throw skips into center field but backed up by McLeod you see how the Braves are respecting Cabrera he's not getting much to hit here with first base open and the eight hole hitter up next in Gardner and it was an unintentional intentional pass runners go High breaking ball. He had a base open. We know Joaquin Andujar said that. Pitch is tapped in front of the mound. Bare hand with funny spin, and he gets out of it. Because it's going to take forever for that pitch to still get there. Liner into center. Here's the first hit for Atlanta. Bit of a skewed stat, but indicative of how badly he has pitched this year. Fly into left. Cabrera Gardner converge. It's Gardner in left center. Another line drive up the middle. This one off Casey Kochman's back. And two men are on with one man out. Kochman now four for seven against the Yankee right hand. The Braves have their first threat of the night. Good hitters count now with two on. And a fly ball hit to right. Swisher going back. Has room shy of the track. Brian McCann will tag from second and move up 90 feet. See if the Braves can break through here in the home half of the second. First and third. And two out. And a chopper off the plate. Nobody's covering first. Wong and Teixeira collide. And the play at first in time. Cano got a toe on the bag. You never see him out of position. And a line drive over short. Kicks up a little sand as Garrett Anderson's got to get to the wall. Derek Jeter around second. He's on his way to third and puts on the brakes. Now the Chamberlain, they've got some big guns in that starting five. Swisher cannot advance Jeter. He didn't. Third walk in the game. First and second, double play in order now for Alex Rodriguez. Runners are going on an 0-2. And A-Rod checks his swing and strikes out. McCann lost the handle. And pops the first pitch up at a shallow left. Garrett Anderson is in. He's under. He's got it. And Tommy Hansen out of trouble. And three pitches retires the Atlanta pitcher, Tommy Hansen. First strikeout for Wong. Talk about an innings eater. CC Sabathia will go nine if he can every day. And Wong drills the inside corner to the left hand Braves leadoff man, Nate McLeod. Hot shot under the glove of Alex Rodriguez, who thought he should have had it. Runner goes, good jump. Pitch low, Posada from his knees, throws it to center field, and Escobar will move up 90 feet. A steal and an error. What was Posada doing? And that play puts a little more pressure on Posada, again with the sinker of Chin Ming Wong. The ball skips up there and gets away. You might be able to steal a run that way. Fly ball, well hit, left center field. Cabrera on his horse, can't get there, it's off the wall. 
Chipper around third will be held. McCann doubles home. You know, Escobar with two out. Line drive right center field. Nobody's getting that. Garrett Anderson doubles home two more. At 147 with none or one. That ball fisted towards short, and Casey Kochman retired. He's got to have a few easy innings somewhere along the way. There's one way to start it. A wicked slider is missed by Posada, who strikes out. You are going to pay more attention to his pitch counts at this stage of his major league career. A fly ball, right center field might drop, and it is going to drop and roll to the fence. McLeod can't cut it off. Cabrera in at second. Kelly Johnson ready with a relay. Breaking ball served to short. Escobar will flip to Chipper who drops the ball. Maybe he can make a little contact and roll into a double play. Nope, he's going to bunt. So a sacrifice for Wong. And he loses Jeter. Especially with them loaded. Ground ball on the first pitch. Boxed. Flip. Inning over. Big red got it done. Come on, come on. Plays that off his chest. Ouch. One out. Ball's really jumping off his bat again. Not this time. Wong strikes him out. And he strikes out his second man in a row. Remember, he wasn't drafted or developed by the Braves. He was acquired in trade and was traded away. He didn't elect to come here, nor did he elect to leave. Ground ball to second. And Johnson makes the play. I've talked to Mark a couple of times, and he said, look, if the Braves... And McLeod at the top. Fly ball by A-Rod, right center field, but Frank Coor got a good jump. Grounded past Chipper, who is playing in at third. And Cano has a two-out hit. He signed through 2011 by New York. And strikes out for the third time in this game. First pitch, ground ball to Shera, step to his left. And that's fisted over first. That might drop in fair ground. It will. Escobar around first, holds on there. High, towering fly ball, right center field. Did he get enough? He did not. Brett Gardner. Escobar tags, and he'll move up 90 feet. Good base running. Pop this one up. That ball cut in on his hands. And in the center of the diamond, two Yankees converge. And it's Derek Jeter that makes the play. Here to help. And doing a darn good job. Liner to third. Chipper is there. Doesn't slow down around the mound or. Oh, line drive. And McClough plays that on a short hop. Gardner has his first hit of the night. Joe Girardi's going to have to massage when he gives him days off. Runner goes. The throw short hops. And in safely is Gardner. Two on with one out. Take care of Jeter. There's the ground ball. There's one. There's the turn. And yes, they've committed an error. As uh, Anderson pops this ball into shallow right center field. Gardner coming on. Had a little trouble. But makes the play. Gotchman to first to Shara. Textbook defensive effort there. Got it that time. Strike three. That one 95 and at the knees. Protect this three-run Atlanta advantage. And there's a good start. One hop. Make it two hop. Right ball off the bat of Swisher. High fly ball. Center field. Pretty well hit. But he was just a touch off stride and still hit it 395 feet. Try to cut down the opponent's runs. As A-Rod, a little chopper hit towards second on a big hop. And how about the job Peter Moylan has done? Baseball crazy kids during the summer. As a Kelly Johnson slices one a long way down the left field line. But a nice catch by Cabrera for the first out. 
Swing and a miss by Blanco. He's down on strikes. That fastball at 94 with movement. Hughes, five hitters faced. All of them retired. Ancillary debate with the Yankees about what role Jabba Chamberlain should have. Oh, bad hop. Almost ate up to Shera, but he hung with it. That'd be a good contest to have for our crew tonight. And a swing and a miss by Cano. Off speed pitch. That might have been that slur if you were describing. One out. That one in the dirt. And McCann will. Does he need to make the flip? Nope, they'll call Posada out. Four swinging strikeouts for the Yankee catcher tonight. No hits, let alone runs. Pop fly into right. Francoeur is going to catch that. Now remember how you think the Yankees' pen stacks up with the Red Sox. Pop fly, shallow ah. right. Long run, Cano. Swisher is late getting there, but no problem. Cano's got it, one out. I think that's a decided advantage yeah. for New York because they have so much more power on their team. There's some power from Chipper Jones. Hit well to left, but to the edge of the track. Ouch. Fly ball, that's well hit. Swish her back. See you later. I don't know how fast it came in, but it went out like a laser. Right over the LED scoreboard and right. Brian McCann, a three for four night. That's tipped into the glove of Posada. Right down the middle. Man. Oh. That missed by an eyelash. Line to second. Jeter hit that on the screws, but Kelly Johnson to a knee. So the buzz around the ballpark that began at 7-10 uh, tonight has not diminished a bit. Braves will allow Baroa to move to second. Kochman handles a one-hopper, and the Braves have shut out the Yankees. You want some baseball excitement in Atlanta? The Braves have given you some tonight. They blanked the Cubs last evening. They shut out the Yankees 4-0 tonight. And for the third time in their last 13 outings, the New York Ball Club has failed to score a single run.